O Lord. You have created the heavens and the earth with your immense power and stretched out arm. Nothing is impossible for you. These words are spoken by Prophet Jeremiah. Have you encountered a difficult situation in your life? Have you reached the end of your rope? Do you feel like there's no way out of your circumstances? Take heart and find encouragement in the words of the Prophet Jeremiah. God who made the heavens and the earth with his great power and outstretched arm is capable of doing anything. He holds the universe together and is in control of every situation. No matter what you are going through, whether it is a financial crisis, a failing relationship, a health issue, or any other challenge, remember that God is bigger than your problem. He is the one who can turn things around and make a way where there seems to be no way. If you feel like you have reached the end of your rope, take comfort in knowing that God is with you. He promises to never leave you, nor forsake you, and He will see you through every trial and tribulation. Lean on Him and trust in His goodness and mercy. Pray to Him and ask for his help, wisdom, and guidance. He is a loving father who cares about you and wants the best for you. He is willing and able to provide for your needs, heal your brokenness, and restore what has been lost. Do not lose hope, but have faith in God. He is the one who can do the impossible, and he will work everything together for your good if you trust in him. Keep your eyes fixed on Him and His promises, and He will give you the strength and courage to face any challenge that comes your way. This might seem to be the end of things for you. No hope seems to be left to spare. Hopelessness might be all you're feeling right now. But have you forgotten the greatness of God? God is almighty. Nothing is too hard for Him. His power is great and it reaches to all corners of the earth. It reaches into all situations and circumstances. It changes people. It turns things around. It softens stubborn hearts and hurting souls. It brings peace. Where there is war, it uplifts the poor man to dine at a table with kings. You might be craving a breakthrough either in your failing marriage or your weakening faith in God. Sickness might have attacked you, but know this, God is with you in your struggles. He promises to never leave you nor forsake you. He knows your pain and he understands your struggles. He is always with you even in your darkest moments. Take heart and have faith in God. Pray to him and he will answer. Trust in his plan for your life even when it seems like everything is falling apart. Remember that God's timing is perfect, and He knows what is best for you. Keep your eyes fixed on Him, and He will guide you through the storm. Do not lose hope, for hope is what keeps us going. It is the light that shines in the darkness. Remember that with God, all things are possible. So keep your head up, have faith, and trust in God's goodness. Your breakthrough is coming, and when it does, it will be greater than you ever imagined. It can be really tough to feel like you're going through a wilderness in your life, like nothing is going your way and you're stuck in a place of despair and hopelessness. Maybe you've been dealing with financial struggles for a while now, or your marriage has been on the rocks, or you're facing challenges at work or school that feel insurmountable. It can be hard to see a way forward, and you might feel like giving up, but God wants you to know that He sees you, and He hears your prayers. In Isaiah 43, 19, He says that He is doing a new thing. That springs of new life are springing up even in the midst of the wilderness, and He is asking you today, do you not perceive it? It's easy to get so caught up in our struggles that we don't see the ways in which God is already at work. Maybe there have been moments of encouragement or hope that you've overlooked or blessings that you've taken for granted. 
But God is inviting you to open your eyes and see the ways in which He is already working in your life, and to trust that He will continue to do so. When God promises to make a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland, He's not just talking about a quick fix. He's promising to bring about a complete turnaround in your situation, one that will lead to lasting transformation and growth. It might not happen overnight, and there may be challenges along the way, but He is faithful to His promises, and He will never leave you or forsake you. So keep your eyes fixed on Him, and trust that your breakthrough is coming. It may be different from what you expect, but it will be greater than you could ever imagine. And when it comes, it will be a testament to the faithfulness and goodness of God. Sometimes, we feel like God has abandoned us. We feel like asking, Our Father, Our Father, why have you forsaken us? We are discouraged and hurting. We see no joy or meaning in life. There is no happiness in living. We envy the birds because they seem to have no cares. We wonder where God is and why He would let us go through such hard. Our faith is tested, but God never leaves us. He will never forget or forsake us. He is always right there by our side. He wants us to pray to Him, to let Him into our situations. God says in the book of Jeremiah that if we call unto Him, He will answer us and reveal to us great unsearchable things. God's love for us is immeasurable, and His plans for our lives are beyond our comprehension. Even in our darkest moments, we must remember that God is always working behind the scenes to bring about good in our lives. We may not understand why we are going through difficult times, but we must trust that God has a purpose and a plan. Sometimes, the struggles we face are meant to shape us into the person we were always meant to be. We must also remember that we are not alone in our struggles. We have a community of believers who can offer support and encouragement. We can also turn to the Bible for comfort and guidance. One of the most powerful verses in the Bible is found in Romans 8:28, which says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This verse reminds us, that God can take even the most difficult situations and turn them into something beautiful. So, if you are feeling discouraged or alone, take comfort in the fact that God is with you. He has not abandoned you, and He will never forsake you. Call out to Him in prayer, and trust that He will reveal great and unsearchable things to you. All that you're going through, take it to the Lord in prayer, in Philippians 4, verse 6, we read, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Prayer changes everything. It restores. It taps into the power of God to change situations. Remember Hannah in the Bible. She was barren for years. Panina mocked and laughed at her day after day after day to her childless state. Hannah was sad in her distress. She called unto the Lord while in the temple of Shiloh. God heard the call of Hannah. He was touched. He answered her prayer and her situation turned around. She bore a son, Samuel. That is the power of prayer in turning situations around. God, by His might and power, created the earth in the heavens and everything in them. Is there anything that is beyond? Definitely none. He is all-powerful. His greatness is unfathomable. His power is beyond what we can comprehend. Therefore, when we pray, we are tapping into that same power. We are bringing our requests before the one who spoke the world into existence. He can do far more than we could ever ask or imagine. When we pray, 
We must have faith that God hears us and that He is able to answer our prayers according to His will. We may not always get the answer we want or expect, but we can trust that God knows what is best for us. In addition to bringing our requests before God, we must also remember to give thanks. Thanking God for His goodness and faithfulness, even in the midst of difficult circumstances, helps to shift our focus from our problems to the one who is greater than our problems. So, let us not be anxious about anything, but instead, let us bring everything to God in prayer. Let us trust in His power to change our situations and have faith that He hears us and will answer us according to His will. And let us always remember to give thanks for all that He has done and all that He will do. When Daniel was thrown into a den of lions, God shut the mouths of the lions. Daniel came out of the den unheard. What was supposed to be the end of Daniel turned into a wonderful happening. It displayed the power of God. When his French Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into a burning furnace, God stepped into the fire with them. Not even a single strand of the hair of their heads was burned. The people began to believe in the God of these three. God used their situation intended to be of torture and suffering to manifest. God is doing the same in your life. The pain, the suffering, the sleepless nights, the unpaid debts, all those are ways God is using to show you how powerful He is. He will change your situation around. He will do a new thing in your life, something no human can comprehend. Do not lose hope. If God did it for others, He can do it for you too. God does not change. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He will never change. His words are the ultimate truth, and His promises are always fulfilled. What He said must come to pass. When you are facing difficult situations in life, you must hold on to the promises of God. We must remember that He is with us and He is working all things for our good. We must also trust in His timing. Sometimes we want things to happen right away, but God's timing is always perfect. He knows what is best for us and He will bring about His plans in His own time. When we pray, we must pray with faith, believing that God is able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine. We must also pray with surrender, giving our lives and our situations over to Him and trusting that He knows what is best. As we wait for God to act, we must also be patient and persevere in faith. We must continue to seek Him to trust Him and to obey Him, even when things seem difficult or uncertain. So, if you are facing a difficult situation in your life, take heart. Remember the stories of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Remember that God is with you, and He is able to do immeasurably more than you could ever ask or imagine. Hold on to His promises, trust in His timing, and persevere in faith. God will change your situation around and He will do a new thing in your life. Your current situation is not your destination. It is part of the journey. A turnaround will happen, but you need to pray to God. He says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Your past does not matter. God looks at the current state of your heart, not what you might have done before. He is not interested in your past mistakes. He just wants you to come to Him fully and give yourself up to Him. Pray to Him and trust Him and see the glory He will shine in your life. There are no impossibilities with God. He is able to move mountains. He made a way through the Red Sea. He made water flow from a rock. 
He turned bitter water into sweet water. He turned Saul, a prosecutor of the church, into Paul, a great enthusiast of the calling of Christ. He is capable of anything and everything and everything means even your current situation. He is a way maker, a provider, a mountain mover. His deeds are glorious. They are marvelous, but we need to have faith that God can turn our situations around. The language of God is faith. God does not work in fear, doubt. We should therefore forge forward with faith and courage. Any mountain can be moved if we have faith in God. Even in his ministry, Jesus used to tell most of those who he healed. Your faith has made you well, so have faith in God. Trust him with all your heart and he will surely turn your situation around. Your job is to pray to him, to seek him, and to trust him even when things seem to be going wrong. God's timing is not always our timing, but he is never late. He is always on time. He is never too early nor too late. God wants the best for you, and he will make all things work together for your good. You just need to have faith in him. Believe in him, and he will never disappoint you. He is a faithful God, and his promises are always true. He has promised to never leave you, nor forsake you, and he will always keep his promise. So no matter what you are going through, always remember that God is with you. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. He is always by your side. You just need to trust him and have faith in him, pray to him, seek him, and turn from your wicked way. He will hear from heaven, forgive your sin, and heal your land. Jesus used to tell most of those who he healed, your faith has made you well. Jesus changed the shame of the woman who had blood for 12 years into a miracle. Her life changed simply because she had faith. She believed that if she could only touch the hem of the gown of Jesus, that she would be well, and she received her healing. Matthew 17 verses 20 through 21, he replied, Because you have little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. By faith in God, we can move the mountains in our lives. Our situations can turn around. Our lives can be changed forever. God has given us the authority to speak into our situations and to command them to be gone to declare healing in the name of Jesus, to speak financial breakthroughs into our lives, to rebuke the devil in all his plans and schemes, to turn away from temptations. We have all authority in the name of Jesus. We can speak, change, and turn around into our own lives. Nothing is impossible if we believe in God. We should have faith like the woman with the issue of blood, who despite her struggles, believed that Jesus could heal her. She didn't let her past failures, shame or fear, shame or fear stop her from approaching Jesus. Instead, she focused on her faith, and that is what made her whole. We should also have this unwavering faith in God. Faith is the key that unlocks the power of God in our lives. It allows us to receive the promises of God and to walk in victory. When we pray and believe, we align ourselves with the will of God, and our requests are granted. We must remember that faith is not just believing in God, but it is also acting on that belief. We must step out in faith and do what we believe God is leading us to do. This requires us to trust in God's wisdom and guidance, even when we don't understand what is happening. God wants to use us to do great things, but we must have faith in Him. We can't limit what God can do in our lives by our lack of faith. We should believe that God is able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine. So, whatever you are facing today, remember that you have the power
power to speak into your situation and to declare victory in the name of Jesus. Your faith can move mountains, heal your body, restore your relationships, and bring breakthrough in your finances. Keep trusting God, and He will do amazing things in your life. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God will always be there for us. He loves us. If He is for us, no one can stand against us. Neither disease, nor hunger, nor lack, neither suffering, nor grief, nor loss. Those cannot take away the power He has given us over all that happens in our lives. He can never let us be beyond our power. When we have reached our limit, He steps in and changes our situation around. He rescues us from our distress. That is why we should always trust in Him. It doesn't matter how bad the situation is. What He cares about is our emerging through it all as victorious in Him because in Him we are more than conquerors. God's love for us is unfailing. He promised in His Word that He would never leave us nor forsake us. He will always be there for us, even in the darkest moments of our lives. In those times when we feel like giving up, we need to remember that we have a God who is greater than our problems. When we feel weak, we can call upon the name of the Lord and He will give us strength. He is the one who renews our strength like that of an eagle. We can rely on Him to help us through any situation we face. God's power is greater than any sickness, disease, or lack. He is our healer and provider. We just need to trust Him and have faith that He will provide for us. He can turn our suffering into joy our grief into comfort and our loss into gain. Through Christ, we have been given the power to overcome any obstacle that comes our way. We can speak life into our situation, declare healing in breakthroughs, and rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. We have been given the authority to do all these things because of our faith in Him. No matter what we are going through, we can be confident that we will emerge victorious in Him. We are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. So let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and trust that He will see us through to the end. David said, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. His trust was in God Almighty. Even though you are in the test situation, trust in God. He will change things for you. He will shed new light into the darkness you are in. A new dawn will break for you. Something new is happening. Seek to perceive it. Seek His faith. Take delight in Him, and He will grant you the desires of your heart. Whatever you ask of Him in prayer, and by faith He shall grant unto you. He is faithful. He is not a man that he should lie. So be patient. Your miracle is coming. God has a plan for your life. He knows the desires of your heart, and he is working behind the scenes to bring them to fruition. It may not happen on your timetable, but it will happen on his. Keep praying and seeking his face. He will guide you through the darkness and bring you to a place of abundance. Remember, his ways are not our ways, and His thoughts are not our thoughts. He may choose to do things in a way that we don't expect, but we can trust that it is for our ultimate good. Sometimes, we need to go through difficult situations to learn valuable lessons and to grow in our faith. As you wait for your miracle, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith. He will never leave you or forsake you. Lean on Him for strength and comfort. He will carry you through the tough times and bring you out on the other side, victorious. In the words of Isaiah 40, 31, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. 
They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Trust in the Lord and He will renew your strength. Your miracle is coming, so don't lose hope. Jesus healed the sick and raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind. He did many miracles. He changed situations around. He will change yours too. When the time is right, God will change your situation around. God's time to change things around beats human calculation and timing. It goes against nature and biology. It is beyond science. It is not limited to a certain time frame. He gave Abraham and Sarah a son at a very old age. Mary conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit against the order of nature. When your time to experience a turnaround come, nothing will stand in its way. It will be unstoppable, incomprehensive. It will be a marvelous miracle. You shall rejoice in it with thanksgiving in your heart. God dethrones kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He brings honor to the despised. He brings laughter to those who weep. He provides for those who lack. He makes rich those who are called poor. He turns things around in Isaiah 40 verses 4 through 5. Every valley should be raised up. Every mountain in hill made low. The rough ground shall become level. The rugged places a plain. And the glory of the God will be revealed and all the people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. God changes pain into joy, curses into blessings. He changes disappointments into divine appointments. He is the God over times and seasons. He changes suffering into rejoicing. Nothing is too hard for him. He will turn things around for you. You only have to pray to him. Trust and wait for his marvelous work. God is a God of restoration and redemption. He can take the broken pieces of our lives and turn them into something beautiful. He can bring healing to our physical bodies, but he can also bring healing to our emotions and our relationships. He can restore what the enemy has stolen from us and make all things new. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. God wants us to live abundant lives, full of joy and peace, and he has the power to make it happen. It may not always be easy to trust in God when we are going through difficult times, but we can take comfort in knowing that he is always with us. He promises to never leave us or forsake us. He is our rock, our refuge, and our strength. So no matter what you are going through, hold on to hope and trust in God. He is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. Ephesians 3.20 Keep praying, keep seeking Him, and keep believing that He will turn things around for your good.